Are you looking for a guide that covers the topics and skills that you need in order to become a well-rounded cybersecurity analyst? If your answer was yes, then this video is for you because in this video, I'm going to be reviewing what I believe to be the ultimate cybersecurity analyst guide. Let's get into the video. What is up guys, welcome and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Day, and on this channel, I talk about cybersecurity. On this channel, I've made several videos about becoming a cybersecurity analyst or a SOC analyst. My experience, my skills, my recommended certifications, my recommended skills, soft skills, all of those things. I've made several videos about different things that can help you in terms of like navigating that journey to becoming a cybersecurity analyst or a SOC analyst. But in this video, I'm gonna be showing you a totally different resource. Um, and this resource is called the SOC Analyst Study Guide. Uh, it was created by JJ Davey. JJ Davey is someone I've been, I've been following on LinkedIn for a really long time. And I must say he's a blessing to the cybersecurity community. And this guide that he created, a notion free to the world, is gonna be one that I think it's gonna be a really a staple for anyone who wants to become a security analyst or a cybersecurity analyst or a stock analyst or a threat analyst or just wants to get into cybersecurity and is looking for like a, a guy that can show them how to kind of navigate the field, the necessary skills they need to learn in order to kind of get the necessary necessary skills they need to become uh to 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 get certain positions like the suck analyst position so with all, with all that said let's just dive right into it so um right here i have the guide so we're gonna take a look at it so we have the suck analyst study guide so it, as you, as you can see here, it's created by JJ Davey, um, and um, here's his LinkedIn. I definitely recommend you connecting with him on LinkedIn. He is a really great resource to the cybersecurity community. Uh, so this is a laid out. This is laid out with topics, skills, and additional information to help develop into a well-rounded analyst. There will be resources here that are mainly for reference or to add to your notes. So if you're already an analyst, like this can definitely help you even bolster like your skills and uh, bolster your your notes and you know whatever resources you already have. Uh, there are extra topics that I've found to be beneficial in my career. If you copy this into your Notion, you can select the board option just underneath to add additional entries and tags to build your own personal study plan. All learners should take time to be aware of requirements in your region and align to those while studying. Not all certifications are applicable in all areas. Please be sure to research this. So this is a certification roadmap with more information. This is a really good certification roadmap for like cybersecurity and kind of giving you a, a ranking of like, you know, different security certifications. So I definitely recommend you checking out, especially if you're looking for like specific certifications for specific areas of security. Uh, so we have like for security operations, uh, incident handling, forensics, penetration tests, and all that stuff. So I definitely recommend you checking this guide out. And I think the uh, Paul Jeremy, he takes his time and effort to actually update this uh, guide often. So really great resource. So be sure to take your studies at a good pace with reasonable goals. You need to ensure you gain the knowledge. So once again, I recommend you uh, connecting with Data David. So he's a really, really great resource. Um, and um, he's the author of this um, study guide. So uh, a large GitHub re security resource list. Uh, so this is a resource list for a bunch of different things. So as you can see here, um, projects like applications, blockchain, cloud computing. This is definitely like a plethora of like things you can learn a lot from. And so definitely recommend you checking it, checking this out. I definitely have to take some time to actually dig deeper into this because I've kind of I've kind of looked over it, but it really dig deep into it which is kind of what i'm doing in this video so these are some other contributors so there's kevin robertson who is a head of security operations august samples who is a SOC analyst tom Wynn, who is a student support uh, security blue team and sean michelle who is a head of cybersecurity operations so everyone here as you can see is like in the defensive area of cybersecurity so like they really know like how it works here how it works in this in this um field and you know they're applying their knowledge to giving you this really really well curated study guide so let's start with the foundations and you, and you can see here it's it's really nicely created in such a way where you can you can actually like you know this kanban style can help you track what you're learning so for example if i was learning uh, maybe like computing basics i can update this to like uh, i can update this to uh okay this is not in my notion so i can update it but like if i was if it was in my notion i can update it so let's get into it all right so we got we started with computing basics so this is to understand the different components in computing technology common certification come to your a plus see I, I, have, I haven't even looked deep into this. I always tell you guys, the basics are always important. That was the same thing I said in my previous video um, about the suck analyst career path. I'm not saying get the A+, but the knowledge 
for the fundamentals of computing is really important for security analysts. So it helps you understand hardware restrictions and other things you need to consider uh, system specification wise during investigation and also helps you with your personal troubleshooting and configuration. So I know what I'm saying when I, when I say like, you know, the A plus is gets you ready for like the basics and the fundamentals, not necessarily taking the certification, just studying for it. So computing basics. Next, we have Windows administration. Of course, you need to understand how to troubleshoot and investigate um, Windows um, based operating system. Uh, so there's a, a video here, um, like a, a YouTube course here. Like, yeah, so this is definitely important. Uh, we also have Linux administration. This is also really imp important. Um, actually, let me see. There's no certification recommended for that one. Uh, and, and these certifications are not, this is not to say do the certification. This is just to say, these are some common certifications that can teach you the knowledge that are, that have concepts that have this knowledge in, in them. So just putting that out there. Uh, so of course, you know, Linux, and this is like a Linux server course, a uh, free course. Networking foundations, I always talk about this all the time. That's why I recommend A+, plus, Network+. Plus. Just study for them. You don't have to do the certifications just to get the knowledge of networking. So as, as core of cybersecurity, we're dealing with security information technology. Uh, with this, we need to understand how hosts talk to each other, how threats may appear in the network, and how to securely how to securely configure networks and network devices. So, a bunch of resources here for uh, networking. Now, you guys know I always recommend Network Plus or CCNA. Most of Network Plus because that's what I have. Uh, mostly the Network Plus because that's what I have more experience with. All right. So the Linux shell, of course, you need to understand the Linux shell. As a matter of fact, like um, I I like in my my current role, I have like responsibilities where um I actually have. I might have to, you know, kind of respond to situations where I have to use a Linux shell to interact with a host. So being able to, like, you know, you know, you know, perform like type commands and understand the commands, like on, in, the, in the terminal, is going to be important, especially if you're doing response activities on a Linux host. Um, so, oh, and my home lab is in this uh, one. I didn't even know it was. I thought it was because I saw my home lab in the home lab. Uh, uh, resource section, which I'll, I'll go over, but I didn't even realize it was also in the in the Linux uh, section. So this is definitely a good resource. Um, my home lab is a good resource. And I'm telling you guys, like, this home lab is one of the best out there, like, in terms of, like, home lab resources. Uh, just to quickly promote myself and to quickly, like, you know, brag a bit about, like, this lab, it has over 21,000, you know, views already. Like, it's really, really good. So I recommend if you're trying to build a home lab, definitely check it out. So more information about Shell. Um, PowerShell usage is also going to be like uh, another one. Uh, at my internship, like a lot of what I was doing was using PowerShell to like automate like uh, certain like uh, response activity. So understanding some basics of PowerShell is going to be important. And then, you know, the under the wire tech games, there's a bunch of resources here. Um, and then technical security foundation. Um, here we see some um, un understanding the basic technology security foundations, foundations such as different types of malware threats and security controls. So you can see here we have the computer security plus blue team level one guys when i was doing the sock analyst video my recommendation after security plus was blue team level one it's just it just makes sense that certification just makes sense for security operations so uh this is um definitely some good guidance for that now technical security analyst foundation offensive security basics same thing i mentioned in my sock analyst video in my sock analyst career path video that I did just a while back. Definitely check it out. I'll leave a card to it somewhere and a link to it in the description. The EJPT or the PNPT was my recommendation for getting the basic uh, uh, offensive security techniques down, understanding down. So to be a good defensive security professional, we must have good offensive knowledge. It helps us identify weakness, common attack patterns, and common tools. So here's some courses. Um, we have um, this ethical, ethical hacking course from uh, from a uh, TCM security, um, a bunch of other things here that you can use. Try hack me, hack the box, virtual hacking labs. So definitely check those out. Now malware analysis and sandbox, and this is also a really important one. Uh, so essentially, um, study of process of determining the functionality, origin, and potential impact of a given malware sample, such as a virus, worm, Trojan horse, rootkit, or backdoor. So uh, definitely, definitely need to understand some basics of like malware and sandboxing. Because uh, like you're gonna be dealing with a lot of malware activity as a security analyst and a bunch of different um uh things here to 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 definitely uh to definitely use to learn to learn all of that. Uh, so we have op open source intelligence and open source open source threat intelligence. So open source intelligence, you know, you can use this to kind of identify targets to build more context around 
triaging your alerts or tickets. So definitely having a you know good understanding of open source intelligence is important and the resources here about that. And open source threat intelligence. So this helps you add more context to your investigation as well. So a bunch of resources for that as well. Uh, SIM, SIM, this is really big, right? That's, I mentioned that in my video about top five skills required to become a security analyst. I'll leave a link to it in the description as well as on the card up here. These are things I've, I keep on talking about every single time I make videos about SOC analyst stuff. Like, and it's right here. Like, SIM, you have to understand how a SIM works. Splunk, Security Onion. I have videos on Security Onion. Definitely check those out. Pretty much all of this stuff is stuff I, I already I already talk about. Like, it, So, like, this is a really, really great guide that kind of consolidates all of these things into just a simple study guide that you can use to kind of, you know, track your pathway into becoming a security analyst so this is like these are like you know some common sims and like um sim solutions that you know are commonly used that you can learn about um so definitely check those out i have videos on all of these so my channel is a great resource for all of them um edr so of course you need to understand how to you know use the edr i talked about that in my security analyst skills you know you're going to be using the edr for responding to uh endpoints and hosts and you know malicious activity in those hosts so these are some um awesome like um resources on edr then threat hunting and threat hunting threat hunting is like kind of a relatively new domain in cybersecurity. uh so having understanding of a threat hunting you know kind of helps you be a better security analyst so these are some um resources on, on, on threat hunting and then incident response incident response so incident response frameworks and approach the NIST IR um, framework is definitely a, a major one that's used a lot in the security industry. Uh, International response playbooks, definitely another thing you need to understand because uh, you're going to be using these to respond to incidents as a security analyst. Digital forensics, this is another major domain in cybersecurity, um, you know, understanding com uh, computer forensics. Uh, this is definitely like a really, like a really specialized and in-depth domain. So bunch of resources that can help you out with that python and programming uh, programming and regex this is also another one uh, if you really want to advance your skills in security definitely ha having some knowledge of programming is going to be helpful as well as regex because you're going to be parsing like data and stuff like that so python python is usually the recommended one and these are some resources to learn python i'm actually planning on learning python myself this year so definitely will be sharing my journey on that regular expression of course you need to you have a reg have the skills of regular ex expression because you know it helps you kind of match input text and also like for parsing data sometimes too like when you're trying to parse data like for specific uh strings it helps you kind of create those reg those regular expressions that can help you parse data and home labs home labs you know home labs help you uh uh f you know learn and test security stuff so this is my home lab for security detection and monitoring so definitely check it out there are more home labs here this is a uh, stefan's home lab where uh, it's a really really good home lab as well another home lab you can build with your raspberry pi and docker so there's a bunch of home lab resources i definitely recommend you checking them out soft skills soft skills i i, I literally have a whole video where i talk about soft skills required for stock analysts matter of fact i'm gonna create a whole playlist where i combine all of the videos i've done for stock analysts so that all of these things are consolidated into one playlist as well as this video this video is going to be that playlist so anyone who needs any recommendation about suck analyst uh training or becoming a suck analyst i'm going to refer them to that video because it covers every single thing including all of these things i've mentioned before uh critical thinking communication it's a really really big one as well so i want to say this is a really really well put together study guide and i recommend it for anyone who wants to become a SOC analyst or even like you know if, in, if it's not a SOC analyst like even if you're just trying to just break into security as like a intern or entry-level cybersecurity professional this is a really really great guide to kind of help you kind of path uh you know kind of help you uh create a path for yourself and also, if you're already in security, this is, a, this is a great way to kind of refresh on the basics, some things you've forgotten in the past. If you're trying to prepare for an interview, it's going to help you kind of like go over some things that you might not have had to do in a long time or had to deal with in a long time. So shout out to JJ Davey for creating this guide, as well as the contributors, uh, Kevin Robertson, August Samples, Tom Nguyen, uh, and, and Sean Mich uh, Michelle. So shout out to all of these people because... This resource is a really, really great resource, um, and I keep saying that, but it's a really, really great resource. So um, I definitely recommend this to anyone who wants to become a SOC analyst. I like I can definitely vouch for this. This is 
definitely uh, a really consolidated um, and a really, really uh, defined uh, way to kind of track your progress or track the things you're learning. So definitely download Notion. I also have another video where I talk about like using Notion. I'll leave links to all of these things in the, in the description as well as like some cards to them uh, somewhere uh, somewhere on this in somewhere in the video so definitely keep an eye out for those but thank you for watching this video if you like this video please be sure to smash like button and be sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed i post tons of content about cybersecurity, uh becoming a security analyst threat analyst threat hunter instant response all of that fun stuff uh so definitely be sure to subscribe and be sure to share this video with anyone who you think will provide value to anyone who wants to become a SOC analyst or security analyst or who just want to, who just wants to break into cybersecurity, they would definitely find this valuable with that said thank you once again for watching this video i will see you in the next video Bye bye